Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. Suicide Squad, it's not a one-off movie. It's not a single thing. It's a part of a much larger cloth. What is it like to be a part of this new, relatively new, DC movie universe? Oh, it's incredibly exciting. It's such an honor to be asked to be a part of this dysfunctional family. Uh, I'm just really, really happy. Now, you, I don't know, maybe the most dysfunctional character you get to play in this movie? And we've seen the Joker before, but how is this Joker different from those other iterations? I think in a lot of ways, you know, those performances are so iconic. We knew that we couldn't go anywhere near them. We had to walk in a completely different direction. Uh, so that's what we did. And we went on a journey to kind of discover this new iteration of, of the Joker. Tell me a little bit about that journey. How do you get yourself into that mindset? You do a lot of research, you do a lot of experimentation, you fail a lot, you uh, uh, experiment a little bit more, and you work, 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 and work, and hopefully come out of it with something that uh, uh, is new and exciting and different. Does any particular failure stick out? Uh, yeah, there were some. There were definitely a lot in, in the makeup chair and in, you know, experimenting with things and uh, that I'm glad we didn't use in hindsight looking at the old photographs. Uh, but that's part of the process. Is there anything specific you can... No, not that I can really think of, yeah. Now, Harley and the Joker, you play one of the most twisted characters. That has to be the most twisted relationship in the movie. What is it that those two characters see in one another? What is it that makes them be in love? I think they have this insane and kind of beautiful, dysfunctional relationship. They have an obsession with each other uh, that's really, really fun to watch. Another dysfunctional relationship is yours with the Cape Crusader, your characters with the Cape Crusader. Yeah. How is this Batman, you know, different than the other Batman we've seen? And how is that relationship with the Joker sort of a new and different thing this time out? I think the Batman and the Joker have a very strong connection. I think they're two sides of a coin. Uh, the Joker, I think in some ways, really loves the bat. You know, without the bat, that life would be a little boring. So he loves having him around. Uh, he's great fun. And I think the only person, they're, they're really probably the only two people that can understand each other in a weird way. Have you had any discussions with Ben Affleck or Warner Brothers moving forward about the solo movie and whether the Joker is going to appear in that? Uh, no, I have not. I'm glad this, this, this is a deposition. <laughs> the way, the way I, I, I asked and I had answer, I felt like, oh my God, it's like if I have a secret error, I better, I better be careful. Um, no, this is the deal. I'll tell you about the, the Joker and any future of the Joker. I hope this is an introduction to the Joker. Obviously, there's a limited amount of the Joker in this film, and for a variety of reasons, that's the case. Uh, but if people respond to the Joker, and if they like this Joker, and if they want to have a little more fun with this Joker, it's certainly a possibility. If they don't, then I'll probably just go live in a cave somewhere.